cases. The first one I'm going to do about the missing persons while we're out here. I know that you all received this information on Friday. Uh, it's a missing adult, Gustavo Lowly, 75-year-old Spanish male. He walked off from his neighborhood Friday afternoon and has not been seen since. Um, at this time, we don't suspect foul play, but we do. We're concerned with condition because he has dementia, Alzheimer's, and he's uh, um, diabetic, so he's dependent on his insulin. So right now we're in day three, actually, of uh, trying to locate him. He's not very mobile, very walks very slow. Uh, what he was wearing that day, again, was a white t-shirt, purple pajama bottoms, and black sandals. He walked from his neighborhood, which is approximately a couple hundred yards south of here. He was last seen right in this area where we're standing right now. Uh, so today we've got personnel from our special weapons and tactical team is going to search the wood, wooded area. We've got investigation units from all, all, all parts of the investigation. It's going to do a door-to-door -door search again. Um, a lot of these things have already been done Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're just going back, redoing with more manpower. And um, if you all could put his picture out and get any uh, information we can to uh, try and find this individual, greatly appreciate it. Initial call is dive team. I guess you've already checked the ponds on either side of the school. And we're still doing that. We're still checking any kind of water area within this area. We're going to check. Uh, like I said, we don't know if, if he became, uh, had a diabetic shock. He could be laying down in a wooded area somewhere, or he could have fell in the water. So we're, we're just all precautions. We're taking all steps to uh, check everything we can. And again, you said no foul play suspected. No foul, no foul play suspected. Like I said, because of his medical condition, that's what we're concerned about. And, uh, and for him not to be seen in this area, it's just un unusual that uh, a neighbor or somebody wouldn't see this old older gentleman walking down the street. So. Been no tips at all about this gentleman? No, Friday we did have a, a couple of individuals said they saw him walking in this area. That's the last, and that was like around 3.30 Friday afternoon. Has he ever wandered off before? No, he's only been here from New York approximately a month. Him and his wife moved down here with his relatives. Uh, so he's, he's new to the area, so he does not know it. He does not speak English, Spanish only. So that's going to be another hindrance if he's trying to ask for help. You know, he's going to have an issue there. So if anyone encounters this individual, please take that in mind. That uh, And without his medication, you know, he could be incoherent now too. So um, anything y'all can do would be greatly appreciated. If y'all have any, uh, the community 630-0500, and um, we'll be glad for any assistance. Any other questions? Any, any other questions on this?